Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today you guys, we are going to be continuing on with our series part two. This is going to be part two of fall, the best fall or the best eyeshadow palettes for fall. So I got quite a few, I have quite a few more palettes for y'all today. So y'all just sit back, relax and get ready to enjoy the video. Excuse me, I just finished eating some bacon, y'all. And it was so good. Got my um peanuts cup with my Snoopy. On the front. I just love that thing. It's between this one and I have a green one that I love that might be my favorite. But I love this coffee cup. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this show on the road. Um, I just, <laughs> I got so many y'all to, to start with. I don't even know where to start. Um, and then y'all know it's going to be a part three. So, just be on the lookout for that. So, today y'all, I have some minis and I have some larger palettes that I want to show y'all. All of them can be used for fall. Now, I just want to just go ahead and give a preface here that, you know, all neutral palettes can be used for fall. So I have, uh, you know, not all neutral palettes, but you know, some of these palettes are, are going to be neutral. So I don't want y'all to say, oh, she just showed neutral palettes. No. Well, yes, technically, but neutral palettes are for fall, right? Right. All right. <laughs> so moving right along, y'all. Um, the first one we're going to talk about today, y'all, I'm going to start with my girl because we did her palettes on um, last week. Well, that wasn't last week. When, when did I do that? That uh, I just did that the other day. Y'all, I be doing so much. I just did the other day. So the other day we did Natasha. Some of the Natasha Nadona palettes. And I forgot to include this one. Y'all, this palette right here is a great palette for fall. This is It's a face palette, but it, it can be used for fall. And it's so pretty, y'all. Um, I mean, now this blush... I don't really care for this blush. Let me let me swatch that blush right quick. I just want to. Oh, y'all know what? That blush is kind of creamy. It must have been the other one that I didn't really like. Because I decluttered that other one. I had both of them. I had this. This is the deeper one. And I had the other one too. I don't, I think I might have either. I decluttered it or I might have gave it to my daughter. Anyway, y'all, this is a good palette for fall. Look at this shade right here. Um, It's just a nice neutral brown. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. Y'all know what? I forgot about this palette. See, I just got to start using my stuff. It's, it's no excuse. Really, it's not. I'm going to swatch this right next to it. This is another one. And that's a, this is a matte, y'all. And they feel so creamy. Oh, it's just a little deeper than that first one that I showed y'all. And let's swatch this one. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. Oh, that's my girl. So, yes, I will go ahead and swatch this one. Might as well go ahead and swatch the whole thing. Oh, so pretty. So, yeah, this, this palette right here, y'all, all of them, I mean, all these colors are great for fall. I'm trying to see, did I swatch out all of them? I think I swatched all of them, didn't I? Did I swatch that one? Yeah, I did. Yeah, perfect for fall. You could just put this in your pocketbook and just go on about your way. <laughs> you know, and you're done. You're good. So, moving right along, y'all. The next palette, I want to talk about some Tom Ford palettes, y'all. My boy. My boy, Tommy. I love Tom Ford, even though some of his stuff is not the same as it used to be. Some of his stuff is not the same as it used to be. I don't know what they've done with his formula. Um, I, I believe that it's they Lauder or somebody bought Tom Ford. Or I think. Looks like I remember somebody saying that. I might be wrong, but it just seemed like his formulas have changed in some of the um, newer ones. But um, And which is the reason why I didn't get them. Because I, I, I looked at a, um, a, a video and it was just not the same. So we're going to start off with something very familiar for y'all that I know y'all know. And um, 
I know y'all are familiar with. Give me just one second, cause I still got everything in here. <laughs> cause I ain't used it. I think I may have used this palette maybe one time. But <clears throat> this is Honeymoon, y'all. Isn't that pretty? Perfect palette for fall. Look at that right there. Ooh, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Can you see it? Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Mm. And let's watch this one of these. Oh, look at this. I'm I'm gonna use this. I'm I'm gonna make a promise to myself. I'm gonna start using my stuff more. Cause I am a collector, but I still I'm a user too. I'm not just a collector. <laughs> so I gotta start using my stuff more. But yeah, y'all. This palette right here. It's perfect for fall. You can put on you some jeans, honey, and um, put on you a nice white tee. Put on you a black leather jacket. What? Cropped. Yes, cropped leather jacket. Y'all, I saw a black cropped leather jacket on um, Nordstrom that I want. It's by All Saints. It is so pretty. Oh, my God. I'm going to put a clip in here so that if you all see it anywhere on sale for cheaper than what they got it, because they want like $500 for it. I'm not going to pay that much for it. Because I know time I go ahead and do it, it's going to be somewhere on sale. Because we got Black Friday and all that stuff coming up. So I'm trying to wait. But that's the one that I want. Now, I saw a cheaper one on Nordstrom Rack that I might get. go ahead and get that. But... You know, when you really, really like something, it just don't, it don't satisfy you until you get the one you really want. <laughs> but, yeah. So y'all let me know. I'm going to put a clip somewhere in here. And y'all show. let me know if y'all see that, that jacket anywhere for cheaper than what it is. Because it's just ridiculous right now. I'm not finna spend that kind of money. I'm not, even though it's probably worth it, but I'm just not gonna do it. I just can't afford it and I'm not going to do it. Y'all, this is the infamous, infamous, infamous body heat. Y'all know I was gonna have to include body heat. Body heat is infamous. <laughs> um, This is another one of those, put on your leather jacket and a white tee and some jeans and rock out. Which you know what out. We don't have one of those, but you know what I mean. Rock out. Yeah, this is a rock star pattern right here. I love this pattern. I love this color story. And all of these shades in here really are can be one and done. Mm-hmm. Even this one. So yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. I know y'all wondering what I got on my eyes today. Doesn't it look pretty? I should have recorded it. But I was rushing and I didn't have time. I was trying to hurry up and get ready for y'all because I, I, I got off to a, a slow start this morning. Oh, body heat, y'all. I'm sorry. <laughs> I done got the got the digressing. Um, <clears throat> but no, so I got off to a slow start this morning because my grandson, he not feeling good. So I had to get him straightened out. Um, his mom, she went to work. She had to work today. She had to be to work real early. And so yeah, he wasn't feeling good. So I had to get him straightened out. But he's feeling much, much better. I got some of that NyQuil for kids. It comes in a thing with the NyQuil, the daytime and the nighttime. And so last night I went to the store, got him the nighttime when he went to sleep because he was just coughing, coughing, coughing. And um, I got him that. Uh, NyQuil with the honey. It says something about honey and it's two of them in there, daytime and nighttime. I gave him that last night and then this morning I gave him the daytime one. And, then, and so let me tell y'all, if you ever just have a coughing spell, get you some honey. You don't have no cold medicine. Get you some honey. A, just a regular squeeze the honey in a tablespoon. Take you a tablespoon of honey and that will help with the coughing. It works, I'm telling you. So I've been doing that Gave him that medicine. Honey child, that boy is up downstairs somewhere watching TV now. So he's feeling much, much better. But yeah, I said that to say that. That was the reason that I, um, I'm off to a slow start today. And I didn't film this look. Because I would have otherwise done it. But I just 
wasn't it slipped my mind and i'm so sorry but y'all i'm I, and, and you know what i'm gonna show y'all what it is right now that's on my eyes and i am going to buy another one because i need a backup <laughs> because i love this look y'all this is the rowan palette y'all and this is the 11 11. oh my goodness rowan yeah rowan beauty 11 11. y'all I'm just going to tell look at it. And all I did, y'all, I didn't do nothing but take my fingers. I took some of this right here, put it like from the, my outer V all the way in a little bit. And then I took the one that's right next to it, this one, and kind of just went in a little bit, you know, and blended that together with my finger. I, I used my fingers. I didn't even use a brush. And then I um put this right here in my inner corner. That's it. And then I put a little um, bronzer um. Uh, you know, just for a transition on top of it. And I was done, y'all. I need to get some more of their palettes. I do, because I didn't realize that. Because this is like, I think maybe 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 my second time using this. Look at that. I love these kind of shades in the fall. Oh. So beautiful. Y'all, y'all, y'all. So if you don't got it, get your hands on it. And um, I'm so glad because look like, did she sell this brand? Something went on with Ruin. And I, I, I can't, I try to keep abreast of all the beauty news. <laughs> and I think something happened with this brand. And I forgot what it was, but I'm glad I got my hands on this. And I'm going to try to get another one because I know they still... I know they, whatever happened, I think they're, they, they're still um, up at a functioning company under Rowan Beauty, but I think she might have sold it to somebody. It's something. Anyway, um, let's move right on along, you guys, because we have a lot of stuff to cover today. Let me put that right there. I need some more room. I need a bigger, a bigger uh, desk. I just have too much stuff. I, I'm, I'm thinking about showing y'all this one, but I don't know if it's going to be fall appropriate. It's fall, but it's it's just too neutral. Well, you know what? Screw it. Let me go ahead and show you. <laughs> this is another Tom Ford palette, y'all. It's my favorite Tom Ford palette that I own right here. This is Smoky Quartz. Y'all? Yeah. Smoky Quartz. I need to make sure. Listen, this formula is the best formula. Yes, I like the wet dry formula, but I like this one better because look how creamy that is. Like, what? And then I told y'all, I've been into the all matte looks, so that's just right up. My dog on the street right there. Look at that. Oh my God. This is like, and look at this right here. Let me show y'all this. I mean, you can't see it that good on my wrist, but or on the back of my hand, but you can see it real good um, on my eyes. Great for fall or anytime. So some of these palettes, y'all, are gonna be are gonna be great for whenever. Whenever or whatever. Like Maxwell say, whenever, whenever, whenever. <laughs> My baby. Let me stop. Y'all know I get to singing in a New York minute. Okay, let's move right along, you guys. All right, that was all uh, the Tom Ford palettes I had to show y'all. So now we're going to move into a different realm or a different brand. So, y'all, I got some Charlotte over here. Y'all know I love Charlotte. I love her, but we're not going to go to her yet. We are going to, I'm going to show y'all a palette here from Lisa Eldridge. Now, technically this is fall, but it can be fall or winter. Look at that. Ain't that pretty? I mean, I didn't get any of her other ones and I'm going to, but let me see. I need to wipe my hands. Y'all, 
that is just like one of the most beautiful color stories. Like Lisa Eldridge is like one of the most talented folks I've ever seen in my life. That woman, whoo, she, and she's such a, let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all something. So I'm a sucker for really, really sweet and nice people. I don't know what it is. I mean, I know what it is. It's because I'm very, I'm a, I'm a very, and I'm not just saying that. I, I have a, a good heart. I'm a good hearted person, right? So we tend to get, people tend to take your kindness and all that stuff, for weakness and all of that. So, and it's hard, very, very, very hard to find a genuinely kind person that is just kind. There are no ulterior motives, none of that. When in life, me, as I've gotten older, because when I was younger, it was hard for me to identify that. And I got, uh, uh, you know, just taken advantage of because of my kindness and my good heart and my good heart. And so now when I run across people, because I can tell, because God, God has given me discernment and I can pick them out. I can pick them out. I can tell people who are genuinely just a kind hearted person and that did just being kind just because they want something from you. So the, I said all of that to say that that's the reason why I like Lisa Eldridge. I don't know that woman from a can of paint. I ain't never met Lisa Eldridge, <laughs> but I can just tell that she is a good person. She seems like she's such a sweet person and I might be wrong. She might just be the total opposite, but I just, I feel like she's a very nice person and that's why I, I really, really like her. I really, really do like Lisa Eldridge. And I also like her talent. Like she is such a beast. Like in the makeup world, like she's done all kinds of stuff. But yeah, I'm a sucker for, for sweet folks. <laughs> oh no. But anyway, so yeah, y'all. So look, isn't this, look at this. Look at that, y'all. Woo, and look at this blue. And they feel so good, y'all. Look at that. Can y'all see that? They feel so good. I mean, I don't know what kind of formula she got going on, but and look at this. This is so pretty to me. Y'all, this on the lid. What? Listen. So this can be used as a fall or winter palette. Um, and you can use it whenever you want to, really. This color right here, I would use that in the spring if you want to. You know, even that one. Do what you want to do, okay? But yeah, I love this palette. This is so pretty. And I also want to get the, um, this one is called Sorcery. I also want to get the Cinnabar one. I think that's the name of Cinnabar. I have that Cinnabar lipstick and whew, I also have the Cinnabar lip gloss and it's right here. It just happens to be right here looking at me. <laughs> this is Elisa Elgis lip gloss Cinnabar. I love it. I need to touch up my lip gloss now. Pardon me. This is the Clarins in Chocolate 09. One of my favorite lip glosses to ever exist. All right, moving right along, you guys. Okay, so that was Lisa. Okay, so, and y'all, I'm not gonna even, I don't even know how many I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna do 10. It's probably gonna be a little more than 10. So y'all bear with me, okay? We're gonna move a little bit faster today than I did the other day. I got to stop digressing and just talking. But y'all just like my family. I like talking to y'all. Okay, let's go. <laughs> All right, so this is my Byredo, you guys. This is Disco. Isn't that pretty? Look how pretty this is. Like a little egg. Byredo is just, oh, I don't even get me started on that. But yeah, so look at this, y'all. This this can be used for fall. Look at that pretty color right there. Mm-hmm. And this is the color that I like in here. Look at that. Trying to get my little fat finger in there. Look at it. Ooh. (sighs) 
I love this palette. It's so underrated. I don't hear enough people talking about it. I don't hear enough people talking about it. But the formula in there is good. Colors, color store, straight up fall. And then you can really use it whenever you want to, but it is reminiscent of fall. <clears throat> All right, moving right along, you guys. Let's see what we got next. All right. This is so cool. This is, hold on, I'm gonna tell y'all. This is, hold on. Oh, goodness, am I gonna be able to pronounce that? This is 104, I'm just gonna say 104. There's a name here, Tat, let me see. Tas Garazami, and then signature, it's the Suku signature color eyes in 104. So this is the 104 palette from Sick from uh Sicko. And I got this one and I have another one that I'm gonna show y'all in a minute that's similar to it. It's the color store is similar, but it's by a different brand. But can y'all tell I like this kind of stuff? I this is me. This this and that. That's that is me. <laughs> I love warm tone palettes, y'all. I'm sorry, honey. And I guess it's just what it is. And I think what it is with, with all of us, y'all. We like what look good on us. So, yes, if you, you know, if cool tone colors look good on you, then that's what you're going to gravitate to. And if warm tone colors look good on you, that's what you're going to gravitate to. So that's why I gravitate to warm tone colors because I my complexion is warm. So, don't, now granted, I can do some cool tones. See, I got them on my face right now. I got them on my eyes, but... I just prefer warm tones, but yeah. Mm. This is so pretty, y'all. Ooh, when I wear this, I feel so sexy. <laughs> All right, moving right along, you guys. So next, we're gonna go into, um, we're gonna start with some, um, we're gonna go into with some, we're gonna, the next set of eyeshadow palettes I have for y'all <laughs> is going to be from Guerlain. Now, this is going to be one of the fa one of my favorite palettes ever in the whole world. Like, this is going to be in my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. And I, I just, this is the one I was telling y'all that looks just like the Suku palette. Look. It looks just like that, except for that that has that, I believe it's that taupe, kind of like a taupe shade in there. But this is so pretty. I love this palette. This is another one that makes me feel super sexy when I wear it. Woo! I'd not be ready to put my stilettos on when I put this on, huh? This is so pretty. Mm, mm, mm. This is what you call a sexy, sexy color story. In my opinion, y'all look at that. Mm. And this is Girl on Undress Brown. I'm sorry, y'all. I ain't even told y'all the name yet. Oh gosh, that um, my, my girl, what's her name, Violet? She ever since she's become the um director over there at Girl on, she has been just oh, everything she come up with. Everything she comes up with, I like. Now, the one that they just did with um, Poochie, I didn't get that one. Even though I said that I was going to get it, and I still might, even if it's not sold out. But I just was kind of like, I don't know, because of that color story was kind of... That color story was kind of like, um, I don't know. It just was not... It had the black. It was black, red, purple, and white. Now that can be, you know, we can you can do it, but it's just going to be it's going to be probably mostly one and done that you're going to be using with that because all of those colors are like boom, 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 very punchy, all four of them. So no, but I still might get it. I still might get it. Now this one, y'all. 
because we're not gonna just be doing all uh, neutral now. We need to we need to add some pops of color in here with our falls, with our fall eyeshadow palettes. Everything does not have to be neutral. And this one right here is what what I'm going to show y'all. You know, it's it's not um, it's it's giving you a little bit of color. Da 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 da! Look at that, y'all. Do y'all see that? Do you see this? <laughs> this is Girl on Mystic Peacock. Y'all, this is another one of my favorite palettes in the whole wide world. Now, I know what y'all saying. Well, you sure haven't been using it because don't look at, you're right. I haven't been, but I've been playing with it and swatching it. I think I wore it one time, but I love it. I So the reason, probably another reason why that I, I, I probably don't get a chance to use a lot of my palettes yet because I don't be going nowhere like that. I, I'm a homebody. You know, I used to be one of those people that used to go out like three times a week. I live in Atlanta, y'all. We got clubs that 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 it's it's something going on every day in Atlanta. There is a club to go to every day in Atlanta. You got Mondays, you got Magic City Tuesdays, you got used to be uh, two dollar Tuesdays. Uh, where I used to be going to the Figure Eight, two dollar Tuesdays. Uh, Wednesday you got chit chats. Thursday used to be, um, I think the Thursday used to be. Um, where was that we used to go? And I can't believe I can't think of it because that was the main one that I used to go to. Um. I can't think of it right now. I'll put it somewhere. But anyway, I said that to say there are places to go every, every day in Atlanta. So I always go out three, at least three times a week. So now I said that to say now I don't care about going out. I don't care about going out to no club. Remember I'm married now. Me and my husband have been married for, what, 15 years? So the most thing we might do is go to a lounge or something every now and then. I don't care about going out like that. But when I do go out, even if it's just the movies or out to eat or whatever, I'm going to put on me some makeup. But right now we haven't been because of his schedule and my schedule. They're kind of they're kind of different. We're not off on the same days. So it's just been, we go out when we can. We try to take off. I try to take a couple of days off here and there to match his off days. He tried to take a couple of days off here and there to match my off days so we can go out. But yeah, that's why my stuff I don't, I don't use it like that because I don't be going nowhere. But now since I have my YouTube channel, I can use it to show y'all. And that's what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> but yeah, so this is Mystic Peacock, y'all. Look how pretty this is. Look at this. Look at this, y'all. Oh, God. Let me see. I got to find somewhere to show you. Let me see. I'm going to put it right here. Oh, my God. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm going to put it over here. Cause I need for y'all to see the beauty of this palette right here. And I don't know who was the director when this came out. It might have been Violet. I'm not sure. But this code story right here. And a lot of people will look at it and just, you know, kind of be scared. But mm -mm, nope, not me. <laughs> I will wear the mess out of this. I will wear that blue as a one and done. That, them two right there, you can kind of wear them together. That right there can be used as a liner. Like what? This can be used as a liner. Look at that. Look at that blue. Mm. Girl on got a good, 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 good eyeshadow formula too. Oh, let's show y'all this black. Now, the black, it looked more punchier in, in paint. Well, you know, actually, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't really look that punchy in paint. It looks kind of, I'm trying to get that blue off of that. I don't like that. <laughs> um, yeah, see, it, it looks kind of like, like it looks like a little, a little, um, like it has more of a gray tinge to it or a charcoal -y. Yeah, but. Put your stilettos on, get on up out that house, honey. And I'm talking to myself too. <laughs> That's what you call special. This is a special one right here. And then um, that I have another one, but it's not fall. It's called Summer Jean that they did, Girl on did. Y'all, y'all, y'all. That palette is so freaking pretty. If you have Mystic Peacock, pull it out and use it because it's a great palette. 
It could be this. I mean, you could just do some. It's only four. Yeah, it's only four shades. But each one of them shades can be used in different ways. So use your stuff. Put your stilettos on and get up out that house. <laughs> and that's a note to self as well. All right. Moving right along. So now, y'all, finally, 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 we are going to get to my girl, Charlotte Till to the freaking berry. I mean, I get so excited when I start talking about Charlotte. I got, let me tell you something. I don't know if y'all ain't tapped into her, but, and that's, and bless her hard whole thing. That's probably why she just probably be like, you know, cause people be complaining so much saying she, they tired of her, you know, you saying coats over there. Listen, Charlotte done did a lot. She has done a lot. So get some of the stuff that she already got. Cause she got a lot. I, she got a lot. She got a lot that you can use. This is one of my favorite palettes from her. I love this, y'all. This is um. Hold on, let me let me get the name. This is um. Listen, let me see. Flawless Eye Filter Luxury Palette, and this one is which one is this one? Eyes of a Star. This is Eyes of a Star. So, I mean, look at this, y'all. Now, you're looking at this and you're probably saying, oh, that just looks so plain. Yeah, it is plain. But look at the doggone formula in here. I mean, look at that. It's That is so creamy, y'all. Let me just get up on the camera so y'all can see. The formula for that? Oh, my God. Which one did I just show you? I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one I just showed y'all. Look at that. Do y'all see that? That is so creamy. Whew, let me show y'all this one right here. The shiny one. And they feel so good. Like, ooh. And I see why she call it Eyes of a Star, because it's just, oh my God, it's so pretty. This is like one of my, her favorite. Um, this is like probably, and I need to rank. That's, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a ranking for Charlotte because I got a lot of Charlotte. I, sh I have enough to do a ranking. This is gonna be in my top five. This one, Eyes Up Star. Like, I could put this in my purse and be gone on vacation for two months and wouldn't need nothing else but this. I love this right here. I love it. And it's perfect for fall. Eyes Up Star. All right, now, what we got next? Okay, so this is uh, Queen of the Night, I think. Y'all know I can't see where I flip. I got to put my glasses on. This is... Let me make sure. Where is it? Right in my face. Queen of Glow. And perfect for fall. Yes, it has a lot of glittery shades, but look at that color right there. I mean, oh, gosh. I love Charlotte. I love her. I love you. I love you. Look at that. Mm. And this matte shade right here, y'all. Mm, look at that. What? That's a look. That right there and that, that, that is a look. Queen of Glow. I ain't gonna spend a lot of time on this, cause y'all, we not gonna do what we did last time. Last time, I think my video was almost an hour, <laughs> and it's probably gonna be an hour this time too. <laughs> but I'm, but I'm showing y'all more palettes this time though. Last time, I think I did the top ten. I think I did ten. This time, it's probably gonna be maybe a little bit more than that. But so yeah, this is like another. This is in my top five too, Charlotte. Uh, Desert. Uh, hold on, I should know the name of this because this is my favorite one. Desert Haze. This is an all matte palette, y'all. You can just put this in your purse and just, you, you know, you can be good. Like, you, you don't really need anything else. This palette right here. I remember when this palette first came out, people went crazy over this palette. And, and I mean, I can see, some, this, listen, <laughs> the mattes in here, y'all, are so freaking creamy. 
Like, it feel like I'm rubbing cotton on my fingers. Really? I, I'm, I'm not lying, y'all. Look at that. And the color story, and I know, yes, it's warm tone. I like warm tone. Look at that. Mm. And let me go ahead and swatch this um, white looking shade. I mean, whatever it is, cream. I don't know if it's going to show up. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, perfect for Paul. Absolutely perfect. Let me go ahead and swatch this one while I'm at it. Go ahead and make the set complete. Look at that. Oh my God, what? And I'm wondering, does she still have Desert Haze? I don't know. She might, she should still have Desert Haze. I hope she does. But, mm-hmm. Yeah, y'all, this is perfect. I would never be without it. I would never be without that. That's probably another reason maybe why sometimes when I really, really like something, I probably don't use it subconsciously because sometimes I'm just don't want, I, I want to keep it forever. <laughs> I don't want to do it. I don't want nothing to happen to it. Oh my God, y'all. Now this one, definitely in my top five. I, I started to do my look with this palette, but it was going to take me a little time to figure out the way that I wanted to, you know, wear it because really, all of these can be one and done, except for this one. But this one can be a one and done. That can be a one and done. That can be one and done. This is the Bella Sophia. And I think it used to be called Dolce Vita. She changed the name to the Bella Sophia. Y'all, this is a sexy-ass palette right here, man. For real. Y'all, listen to me. This palette right here need to be called the Sexy Sophia. <laughs> you know what? Listen, this shade right here, this one right here, this, this, this one. Look at that. Oh my gosh. All of them, all four of these. I really want to get another one because this one is kind of old. I want to get a fresh one because look at that. Mm. That shade right there is a little hard pan. It's a little hard pan. But you know, when your stuff go hard pan, y'all, don't panic. All you need to do is take like a, see? But all you need to do is take like a, um, I mean, you need to take anything, but if you have like a spoolie, um, I'm gonna take this right here. And I'm just gonna scrape in there a little bit. If you have like a, a spoolie just to get that top layer off, that's all you really need. Mm. This is my grandson. What's up, man? You all right? Okay. What's going on? What you need? Nothing. Okay. Now I'll be finished in a minute, okay? All right. Um, all right. So... Which one, which one did I? Okay, so I did it. Now look at this one, y'all. Look at this one. <sighs> look at that. That's the one. That, these two right here. <sighs> if you just put just this on your, on your, um, you know, just so one and done. That is so beautiful, y'all. This is a beautiful color here. That's what Charlotte does. I don't know what she do. If she get in there and be like, let's just put a whole bunch of colors together just to see which one is, you know, is going to look the best. Because, I mean, that woman knows she can get in there and mix some colors and make them come out looking pretty. But, yeah, the Bella Sophia. Fall. Fall, fall, fall all day long. I'm going to get another one of these. That just, this just sealed the deal. I'm going to get, I need a fresh one. I need a fresh one. And I don't want to hear nothing else about it. <laughs> All right. All right, you guys. Now this one right here, this is a Charlotte palette. It's kind of old, but it's worked like it's, like I bought it yesterday. 
this is why I love Charlotte. She, her um, products are so, they are very um, superior in their formulas, the quality. Like, okay, so let me show y'all what I mean. Let me, let me, let me, let me um, just get some of this stuff off of here, off of my hands and stuff, because I need to show y'all what I mean. And yes, this is, you know, fall suitable. Um, so listen, that's a mat, that's a mat, and just one more mat in here. Okay, so it's three mats. That's a mat, that's a mat, that's a mat. All of these are creamy, okay? And can be used for a liner. All right. So, hold on. Can be used for a liner, right? So look how pretty that burgundy is. I'm gonna swatch the mask right now because I just need for y'all to understand if you have this palette, what you got. I know it's old, but don't declutter this. This is, look, look at that black. Look at that. All three of those can be used as a liner, right? The consistency of these shades are not powdery. They are creamy. But when you apply them to your lids, they apply just like a regular matte. Okay? I love this palette. And this is called the Icon Palette. I, I don't know if she still sells it. If she does not, you guys, y'all can check my car. You can check Poshmark. <sighs> this is beautiful. Look at this blue. What? Okay. I'm gonna swatch one more and then we got to move on, y'all. We got to move on. I'm gonna swatch this green right here. Mm hmm So, and is that green? Let me make sure that's green, because that's a different looking kind of green. Let me see. Yeah, that's green. It's just a different looking kind of green, like I said. <laughs> but yeah, so. The Icon palette. A Charlotte. Definitely a fall palette, okay? If you have it, you can put, put together some beautiful fall looks with this. I've had mine for so long. I, I don't even know how long. And it's still... It's still working like I had got, like I bought it yesterday. So that just attests to the quality of Charlotte Tilbury. Okay. And there was another one that I wanted to show y'all. And then I was like, I don't know if that's fall, but I think it is. I, I put, so I had another one. I had a few more out that I was going to show y'all. I was like, is that really fall? But a lot of Charlotte stuff is, you know, it can just really be used all year round. So I probably will get it out and show y'all. If I don't get it out and show y'all, then it's going to be in part three. So don't you worry. So this is super news. Yeah, this is like one of my, look, I know everything I show y'all. I'm like, this is one of my favorite. Because it is, y'all. It is. Like, look at this. These, all of these are just like these, uh, new, um, Mats that I showed y'all in here, that formula is the same thing she got in this Super Nude palette. Cream, creamy, creamy, creamy. These are creamy mats. Look at that. When somebody got a good cream formula, y'all, you can't beat it. You really can't. And I love this palette because you can just, I like stuff that you can just, you know, Put in your purse and get on up out of there. You, you don't, this, you can take, this is another pattern. You can take it on vacation. And look how small it is. You can take this on vacation with you. You don't need nothing else. You won't need no, well, for what? This will go with anything that you wear. This right here. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, like, what? Now, Charlotte, that new palette that she came out with, I didn't get it. I didn't get it because it just, 
It didn't talk to me. It didn't pull me in. It was something about it that I just did not, I didn't like. Um, now, who's to say that when I go in Sephora somewhere and swatch it, um, that I might not change my mind? Because it might have something that I like about it. It might have that, those, um, that cream formula, because I know there's a burgundy in there that I like. So I just need to see it in person. If I see it in person, I might snatch it up. I don't know. Anyway, moving right along. These are the ones that I like. I'm, I miss her coming out with these. Like every Christmas, she's come out with these. This one is, um, hold on, let me put my glasses on. Oh no, Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. I can see that. <laughs> Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize, that's this one. And look how pretty it is, y'all. Yes, this can be used for really all year round because you got all this right here can be used for spring. But this can be used for fall. This can be used for fall. And you, if you want to throw a little bit of lavender in your, uh, you know, for fall, shoot, do it. I mean, use one, bought it. So do what you need to do with it. <sighs> Y'all... Mm, that feels so good on my finger. That shade right there. Oh. Let me scratch this. But yeah, I miss these right here. I miss when she used to make these. This is the only long one. Oh no, I have another long one, but it's uh it got a lot of pink in it. I can't think of the name of it. I will have to put it somewhere over here or over here. Um, but it's beautiful. Oh my God, it's so beautiful, but it's not a foul palette. Hold on, let me get it for y'all. Let me get it real quick. Okay, y'all, I found it. And this is the Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk, um, Pillow Talk Instant Eye Palette. Oh my God, look at this. This is so freaking pretty, y'all. That's why I love Charlotte Tilbury, honey. She almost can't do no wrong list. Look at that. This is so doggone pretty. Like, now if you didn't have this, you could probably do it for fall. But I wouldn't consider this a fall pattern. I just wanted to show it to y'all. <laughs> I just look, I just wanted to pull it out. <laughs> but yeah, I miss I miss these days. So hopefully she'll bring them back. Hopefully, fingers crossed. All right. Next, 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 next. Oh, and while I was while I was in there pulling that out, I thought I might as well go ahead and pull out this one. <laughs> this is Pillow Talk Dreams. Woo! Yes, this can be used for fall, y'all. It can be used for fall because they are not overly pink. They are not like pinky, pinky, pink like that when I just showed y'all. Um, Put it right there. Oh, let me utilize my other arm. I'm gonna never use that arm. Um, but yeah, it's not like overly pink. So it's kind of like a maroonish pinky looking brown. Y'all know how Charlotte do them colors, but that on your, um, eyelid is so pretty y'all. <sighs> I remember when this palette came out, this palette, I think this palette sold out a few times too, but yeah, I love that. Pillow Talk Dreams, pretty for fall. And I thought I pulled out my other one that I want to show y'all. I'm gonna have to show y'all in the next one because I don't know where it's at and I don't feel like looking for it. Okay, now, is that it for Charlotte? I think that's gonna be it for Charlotte, yeah. Oh no, I did pull it out, I pulled it out, yeah, it's right here. Because these two right here, they look alike. So I thought I had this one. This is the Super News one. Super News. This is um, Easy Eye Palette for, for the Charlotte Darling look. And that's what it is, too. This is like my favorite palette from her. This is probably going to be... I think this might be my favorite palette from Charlotte. I'm going to have to rank them. But this is going to be in my top five. Because look at this. And when you're looking at this, it's not really looking like 
you know, too much. It's not looking like, you know, it's not like a, ooh, like, you know. But when you put this on, it's so pretty. And this is, and I'm talking about, like all of these colors are beautiful. I mean, it just, it's another one of them sexy palettes, y'all. Really. Charlotte is, like, she can do sexy. Like, she know how to make you look sexy. That's what she specialize in. That's what she should have put on there for the sexy Charlotte look. Because, whoo. Look at this. I mean, and even with the swatches, y'all probably just like, oh. But, mm-mm. I'm telling y'all, this palette right here, top tier. And yes, you can use that for fall. I mean, you can use this for fall. It's not too springy, you know? You can use it for fall. All right, y'all, that's it for Charlotte. I know y'all like, ooh, you weighing us out with this Charlotte. I don't care. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I'm only kidding. Look, I love Charlotte now. I'm gonna do a ranking for her. I'm gonna do a ranking of all of her palettes. Um, now, all right, so now y'all, we're almost at the end of the video. I wanna talk about my, my girl, my other girl, Juvia. Juvia! This is, this is the coffee shop palette. Now you tell me this is not no doggone fall palette. Look at this. Y'all know I'm going right here. I love a good taupe -ish. I love a good taupe moment. Love a good taupe moment. Oh, Juvia. Juvia. Hmm. And let's see. So she got, I mean, this is more, this is more taupe than that, but that's kind of taupey too, you know? Taupey gray. <laughs> Yeah, look at that. Oh, Juvia. Juvia. Mm, 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 mm. Look at this beautiful shade here. So that, that's why I can't just say that, you know, I'm against cool tones, because I like cool tones too. Because I love me a good topi moment. Love it. Love it. Look at that. Mm. Ooh, look at that. So, let me swatch on one of these mats. Yeah, I don't sleep on Juvia. Please don't sleep on Juvia. Don't sleep on Juvia now. I'm gonna put it right here where y'all can see it a little better. Y'all see that better? And Juvia, is so affordable, like, and she always having sales. But you can go on Ulta, probably get this palette right now for probably about maybe twenty dollars, maybe less than that, if you're having a sale or if you got a discount code. But yeah, this is one of my favorite um, palettes from her, the coffee shop. And guess what? Because I love coffee. Not the only reason why, but isn't that coincidence that I love coffee and this is called the coffee shop? <laughs> Let me stop. All right, moving right along, you guys. That is so damn pretty. Look at it. God, wait, what is happening? What is going on with this one? I love that one too. Anyway. All right, y'all, we, we got two more and then and we, that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in this video. I was going thinking I might have to wait to um, the next one. But I'm gonna throw these on. Now, this is, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> My other girl is a Maya. Y'all, look at that. <sighs> See, when I do my best favorite palettes of all time, this is gonna be in it. This palette right here is so pretty. Just so happened, yes, it is fall. This is the industrial, uh, the first one, industrial one, because she got an industrial 2.0. <sighs> oh, 
Ooh, I don't even know where to start, dog, on swatching in here. So let's go ahead and start with the one that I'm doing my favorite shade in the palette. This one. Y'all know this was my favorite. Y'all know I love these kind of colors. Um, I need to get where I can. Let me see. I need a, a good space for this palette. Mm. Oh, let me just put that right there. <laughs> all right, let's go. So let's go ahead and start with this one. I'm not going to swatch all these shades, y'all. Look at that. Ooh. Mm, 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 mm. Look at that. And look at, I want to do this one. I like this shade here, too. Look at that. It's like molten. Look at that. Ooh. I want to do one of these dog on greens. Which one? Mini, 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 mo. Catch a nickel by his toe. If you holler, let him go. Mini, 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 mo. Good. That's the one I want to do anyway. <laughs> this is a little. It's a little hard pan, y'all. But probably because I've had this palette. I bought this palette when it first came out. Now, when I'm now y'all know this is a duo chrome. Because when I do like that, y'all see? See how that don't look green? But when I do like that, it look green. Let me, that's a little hard pan. Let me scrape it a little bit. No need to panic. It's okay. Stuff hard pans sometimes. Am I doing the right one? You know what I need? Scrape the right one. So since I, I, I I'm I'm gonna um I'm gonna swatch this one because that's the one that I just scraped. I meant to do the one right next to it, but that's pretty. Ooh, look at that. That's like a beautiful, it's like an olivey green. Let me do the one next to it, the one that I was intending on doing. Yeah, that's the one that's hard, man, right there, little bit. There's no telling what she put in here to make these palettes, y'all. In order to get these colors, you gotta be a doggone great. I'm gonna put this over here. You gotta be a, uh, I mean, you have to be skilled to get these shades because everybody can't do these shades, y'all. Look at that. Oh, mm 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 mm. Mm. I love this palette. So, I'm going to do this one, and then we're going to move on, y'all. I just need to do this one. I love this shade right here. Look at that. Look at that. Can y'all see that? Hmm. Let me put it right here. So. Mm. Mm. That's my girl. It's Amaya. Y'all don't have it. She still got this one. This one is not sold out. This one is still on her website. Industrial 1.0. All right. All right. Let's go to the next one, y'all. And whatever you're thinking it is, that's what it is. Yep, that's what it is. That is what it is. I need to glue this mirror back in on this one because my mirror on this one is becomes a little step mirror. <sighs> this is the Industrial 2.0. Yeah, it's my favorite one too. I know. I know it's sold out. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. This is a masterpiece. And yes, I'm going right here. This is my favorite shade in here. Because y'all know I love shades like that. Fiery. Oh, God. What? <sighs> Let's swatch. I know y'all said she always swatching that. Let me swatch. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this. Um, and see, this is a duo chrome because look at it. Oh, that, that look purple. But when I hold it back like that, it look something else. Like, this palette is just a crazy. Oh, I want to swatch this right here. Let's swatch something different. Oh, yes, you can use this for fall if you want to. I wouldn't, but. 
I don't really like that color because it's probably gonna look ashy on me. But you know what? If you put this all over the lid and that's it, it'll probably be pretty. Don't put nothing with it, just that. And then maybe do like a, um, maybe something like something silvery maybe in your inner corner. It'd be pretty. Oh, look at that. What in the? Mm. All right, let me see. What else we got? Um, let me do this blue for y'all. Even though it looked purple. See? I do like that. I'm trying to. This is a dual chrome. Yeah, this palette right here. Let me do the green. Y'all see how that look green? But then when I do like that, it look orange. <laughs> what? Look how pretty this green is. Mm. That is the 2.0, y'all. Sorry. Oh, I'm trying to get it where y'all can see it. Okay, there we go. All right. Now, this little palette right here been just staring at me. So I'm gonna show it to you, cause it's like, now you went through all of them doggone palettes and you see me right here and you're not gonna swatch me? So I'm gonna swatch it. <laughs> this, yeah, this is the mini, this is gonna be my last one. This is Natasha Denona Mini Metropolis. I don't really use it that much, but it's, it's a fall palette. This can be used for fall. Look at this. It's just sitting over there staring at me like, girl, if you don't pick me up and show them, show me to the people. So I'm gonna show you, don't worry. But I mean, I like it. I just wish she would have, I don't know. See, the thing is with Metropolis, it's just the, the big boy Metropolis. It's just so, um, vast it really didn't need a mini and if you would if i would have did a mini for it i probably would have maybe done mm -hmm. some other shades in here but you know i it's pretty this is pretty and it's definitely a fall palette so mini metropolis perfect for fall all right, so we are finally done, you guys. We got through all of those palettes. I don't even know how many palettes that I showed y'all today, but it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot, and I enjoyed every second of it. Um, yeah, we, we need to start using our stuff more, me in particular. That's, that's self-talk. Anything I say that you need to start doing, I be talking about myself too, because we just, you know, we, we, we just spend all this money on this stuff, and don't use it like we need to. But you know, it just stuff be happening. Life be happening and stuff be going on. And we have children and jobs. And I know it's hard to, to use your stuff. So just, even if you don't use it, do like me. Just take and play with it every now and then. Especially when you are going through something. When you are going through something, if you're sad, you're depressed, somebody made you mad or whatever. Pick, go in here, go in your, wherever you keep your makeup. And start playing with it. I promise you, it will make you feel better. This is not something that I'm just telling you all. This is not something that I'm just shooting off at the mouth about. I'm telling y'all this because I know, because I do it. It's therapy. It's therapeutic, really. Um, and so, yeah, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I hope you all can take some of these, pa these palettes that I've told y'all about and use them for fall at some point. Um, if you don't have them, if you want them, I hope I've given you some you know, just showing you how they swatch and, and things like that. All Everything that I've told y'all about today, they have a very, very good formula. Um, I really try not to talk about things that I don't like. If I don't, if, if, if I, I'm not going to talk about it if I don't like it. I don't care what the subject of the video is or whatever. If I don't like it, if I don't think it's a good palette, if I don't think it's good quality, I'm not going to really show it to you or talk about it. I have thoroughly enjoyed uh, filming this video for you guys today, doing all the swatches and talking about all the fall eyeshadow palettes. Yes, there will be a best fall eyeshadow palettes for fall part 
three. Um, it's probably going to come out maybe next week sometime. I might do it tomorrow. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so yeah, I'll be looking forward to that. That's going to be with some Pat McGrath, uh, palettes. Maybe a few more thrown in there from somewhere because I got some other stuff I want to I thoroughly show enjoy filming this video. I thoroughly enjoy doing all the swatches and just talking about all of the different eyeshadow palettes, y'all. Um, I'm so grateful to you guys for watching this video. Y'all, please do not forget to like, subscribe, and share if you can. And I'll see y'all again in the next video.